are there any what you would call uh, retail concepts out there that most people in the room may not be familiar with or should be familiar with? Yeah, I think what's really tough about the convenience store industry is it's extremely fragmented. Um, approximately two thirds of the industry at, as of last year is still single store owner operated. And even as far as the most successful chains go, some of them are regional. Um, they're privately owned regional companies for the most part with very few national brands. So that means if you're in one part of the country, you're not going to see a lot of these major operators. But I think a couple that really stand out as outliers, um, I mentioned Bucky's in Texas, of course. They have around 35 locations. They're expanding out of the state now. They build 65,000 square foot convenience stores with, in many cases, over 100 fueling locations. And we're one of the early adopters to using touchscreens for food service and you know, give you full control over what you order and what you do and don't want, but they just make retail fun. Um, had a friend send me a message on Twitter, said he went into one and estimated there were a thousand people in the store. And he's a vice president at a grocer, so I think he's pretty good at counting people in stores. Uh, they're a big one worth visiting. Sheets, of course, based out of Pennsylvania, is worth seeing. Um, their made-to-order food service program is one of the most successful in the industry and I uh, honestly would give any QSR in the area a run for their money, but, but also um, I'd really challenge people to go back to probably twice daily that I mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, I think what they're doing with coffee, it, I mean, really puts them far above and beyond what, um, you know, sort of the trend right now.